start the show today paying tribute to one of the finest defenders that Nigeria has seen. That's Issa Shofoluwe, who lost his life a couple of days ago. The 53-year-old died after a brief illness, and it is so much of a huge loss for the footballing community. It was actually a part of the 1983 under 20 World Cup that was played in Mexico. It was part of the 1984 Afghan squad and also featured in the 1988 Afghan. You know, he rallied that 40 caps and had one goal for the Super Eagles. May so rest in peace. Welcome to the show. My name is Solomon Fo, and this is The Nutmeg on Guardian TV. It's great to have you guys join us. I hope you all keep in safe. Yo washing your hands, wearing your face mask, social distancing, and following the rules of the government of whatsoever state, whatsoever country that you are watching from. It's going to be an exciting week because we've got awesome games lined up. We have games from the Serie A, the La Liga, and also the Premier League, and a huge one that we are just going to be talking about because it's going to be a very brief show, um, small mini preview show that we're going to be having today. And we're going to be talking on Liverpool against Leicester City. We're also going to be looking at Manchester City against Tottenham and we would also touch on that's Napoli against Juventus in the city are all right um, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel you should absolutely do that because God in Nigeria has awesome content for you yes and also if you're watching via Instagram you should like this page you should follow this page thank you so much as you do that okay straight to the preview now it's going to be a really, really huge one especially looking that Leicester currently third Liverpool is fourth and Liverpool really want to stop the tide of you know the losses that they've had so far I think they've lost four games in their last six and they're coming off the back of that loss to Manchester City four goals to one at the Anfield at that, at that really really incredible times uh, you would want to say and you know they really can't afford to slip up because they've got West Ham they've got Chelsea they've got Everton really climbing up behind them and uh, you, you really w don't want to lose out in that race for the fourth position and for um, Brendan Rodgers side it's going to be missing James Justin in that particular fixture. You know, James Justin has been one of the revelations of this season at left back for Leicester City. And I dare say that he has been pushing, you know, quite subtly on, you know, a place in England's Euro 2021 um, team. But uh, the injury that he has actually gotten, that's um, an anti anterior cruciate ligament injury has ruled him out for the next, I think, almost a year now. So it's not going to be featuring in that particular one. Fabinho also is not going to be featuring for Liverpool in that particular side. So I think Anderson is going to play at centre-back. And also one of the new signings is also going to be featuring at the centre-back, either Kabak or Davis in that particular one for Liverpool. It remains to be seen, you know, what Jurgen Club is actually going to trump for when it comes to the starting lineup in that particular fixture. But you, you, you really look at his side and you see that he is really, really Thing and you know there are not so many options that he can roll out in that particular fixture so what are my predictions I believe this game might probably end in a draw will probably end in a draw because it feels as if both sides are crocked to a certain extent crocked when I say crocked I mean they're injured to a certain extent I think it's a really really good time for Brendan Rodgers to you know go against his former side Liverpool and not live with a loss he's gone there like three times now and is always gotten beat up by Liverpool so um, I'm predicting a game that's Liverpool, Leicester to Liverpool to, yeah, it's going to be having a couple of goals in that particular one. Now, moving over to the next game that we're going to be previewing, that's Manchester City against Tottenham. And it's, 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 it brings back, you know, the memories of, you know, the um, duels between um, Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho. And, you know, most of the headlines is going to be at Pep Guardiola's side because it's been really incredible this season, his side, what they've achieved that so far is, is mind-blowing. 15, 15 games that they've won on the trot. You know, the last game, they defeated one CCT. And I, I'm sure they would really want to continue that, that awesome run. Actually, it's a record now after that win against um, Swan CCT. But for Tottenham, definitely they're going to be playing on the defensive front. You know, it's Jose Mourinho. It's not going to be as adventurous as, as you'd expect any other you know, manager to be. It's Jose Mourinho. It's going to be pragmatic in that particular one and you know the good thing for him is um, well there's Sonia Min um, available there's um, Hurricane who is also back into the squad so I think it's going to be getting more firepower and um, it's probably going to be challenging you know Tottenham um, Manchester City I mean in that particular one but Manchester City look like a really really oiled side you know there's there's almost no way for them to 
lose this particular game. And this is what I mean. There's, when you look at the different you know, pieces that they have in that particular squad, you know, once you take one out, you fit with another one, take one out. It's, it's, it's like a perfect system that whatsoever you take out and you fix with another player, it almost runs as smoothly as possible. So they've, they've really hit you know, that purple patch you know, in their stride. And I don't see you know, Jose Mourinho starting them for all his pragmatism and you know, strict defense or strict defending. Um, stopping that particular side. Uh, so um, my prediction is going to be Tottenham 1, Manchester City 3 in that particular fixture. And moving over to the Serie A, that's between Napoli and Juventus. Um, Juventus really, really need this one because if they are going to be having any hopes whatsoever, whatsoever of getting you know, the Scudetto this season, they, they need to start raking up the wins um, once again. I, I know they've been getting the wins steadily, but... Hmm. It really went off the ball for, for a bit, um, giving you know um, AC Milan and Inter Milan the ascendance in this particular one. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, you expect him to be Cristiano Ronaldo, probably is going to be getting a goal in this particular one, extending you know, his um, lead at the goal scorer's chart in the Serie A. But Napoli also, they've been fairly decent, but their last game they didn't do as well as you'd expect. Simen, yes, it's Nigerian and he's one person of interest in that particular one, hopefully he gets a goal in that one, but I don't see that happening. I see Juventus cutting it with this one in this particular fixture, so it's going to be slim, it's going to be pretty tight in that one. So we're looking at probably Juventus to Napoli, one actually Napoli one Juventus two in that particular fixture tell me if you disagree with my predictions in this particular one and I would really really look towards you know replying you know most of the comments that we're going to be having in this one tell me your predictions tell me what you see in your crystal wall you know that is going to be happening this weekend thank you so much for hanging with us thank you so much for watching uh, my name is Solomon Fowler and this has been The Nutmeg